Hello guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm very excited to bring you a fragrance. I think recent time this is the happiest I have been buying a perfume, at least one of them anyway. And I was so hyped up about this and I'm still hyped up about the fragrance. So I wanted to do the initial impression yesterday but I gave the whole day wearing, okay? And I got it yesterday itself so I'm giving initial impression today, not a full on review. And that's gonna be my first official bottle from Mason Martin Marchiella replica line. This is lipstick on. And you guys know I have reviewed a lot of replica line from this house and they are a designer house. Uh, I'm now clear about it. I went to the website. They have a replica line, basically a replica line in general. It describes different tell story or picks up inspiration for a particular time, you know, like um, uh, let's say a certain city or a place and the time and then they try to make a fragrance that suits that sort of a uh, um, time and experience let's say by the fireplace jazz club music festival you know sailing day so different places where you are what smell you get this is the th these are the kind of fragrances they try to make and give you so you experience that time very cool concept but uh, my experience was full bottle worthy i only found so far is this one by the fireplace everybody has their own personal favorites people love jazz club over that i felt jazz club is kind of like a mild version of men in black but Anyway, that's just my opinion. So I'll tell you the story of this uh, and I'm very excited. And I'll tell you this fragrance is not for everybody. This is marketed for women. And this comes at $120 price tag, but um, you can give it a try if you can find it discounted. But these are on the higher side of designer, okay? And I believe this perfume is niche quality, okay? Because of the concept they make. And uh, let's go one by one. Uh, first of all, my scent of the morning, rather afternoon, I woke up very late. Uh, Iceman by Thierry Mugler, discontinued, very beautiful juice color, cooling mint patchouli kind of a smell. So that's my scent of the afternoon, I'm wearing it on my neck. So let's see if I can describe the replica. Uh, first of all, they give you this box. All the fragrance will come with this box, kind of like a white box, nothing very fancy except they print a fragrance, I mean picture of a lady here. And there's the mirror, it's kind of for women so it's understood. And then they write the name, place and the city and also description uh, that is female perfume and uh, who is it for? like sort of fragrance description like a style description like night blush and rich powder sort of it's a powdery smell and these are EDD concentration 100 ml I don't know if they have any other bottle sizes here is the box so that's the box and then second item you're gonna get is this one it will go on top of the bottle like this so uh, the only purpose I can think of it is once you put it in the box and your luggage, it won't, it will prevent it from spraying inside your um, luggage. Otherwise, if you keep it like this, it will fall. It doesn't have any practicality, mm -hmm. nothing. The bottle here, however, it's something, you know, the juice color. On the light, it looks like red, I think. But to my eye, in the normal daylight, it's very rich, kind of like a cherry slash peach, kind of like a pink uh, peach colored, okay, very dark. And here is the atomizer, there's no cap, and very nice sort of uh, ropes uh, like tied around it. Very nice strings attached to it, and then the sticker, they put the same information. So, bottomified the sticker. So this one, the sprayer is okay. Uh, let's spray this and talk about it. Good sprayer, okay. So, uh, let's just settle it down, and I'll tell you my stories, few stories. First story, behind getting this perfume, Sebastian Zara. He reviewed it with this lady, reviewer and friend of her, his. And I was sold when he described the perfume. He is like an artist. Sebastian Zara is an artist for me. The way he describes perfumes, I can literally smell it sometimes. And I blind bought this. That is the reason. And then Wet Cell from Philippines, also my dear brother, reviewed it. I liked his review a lot. Thank you, brother, for the mention. Uh, third thing, um, I mean, second thing is, you guys know, uh, I have a thing for the lipsticky smell. You guys will be like, that's weird. Are you yesterday, I think, in my group, I posted, I am having lipstick on. And I think Lisa or someone, oh no, there's another sister, Purna blogs, I think the sister, she said, I literally thought you were wearing lipstick on your own. I don't judge, <laughs> but it's okay, you know, but it's understood. One of the first fragrance I bought was Diorum Intense. This one has that waxy, uh, lipsticky, iris smell. I bought my mom's lipstick just to show you. If you do not know what's going on, MAC, and then this is Revlon. I think these are my gift from her, uh, my, from me to her. You see lipstick? Yeah, that's basically lipstick. <laughs> so uh, the smell of lipstick basically is associated with uh, the fashion company. If you actually go around malls and you know if you go to MAC, 
uh, Revlon, every single company, Dior, they have their lipstick section. You can get the smell of waxy lipstick. If you open the purse of your girlfriend or anybody, you know, your wife, you'll get that cosmetic smell. That's what fascinates me a lot. You know, some people might find it, oh, it's too girly. Understood, no problem. Some of the fragrances, I would say, have Iris, Prada alone. Just giving you some idea, you have some idea. Prada Infusion Dome. Prada uses a lot of Iris and even my favorite is Narciso Rodriguez for him, ATP. So they all contain the, contain the note of Iris. Uh, Iris sort of is a floral and uh, Iris, Neroli, these are my favorite notes. So if you love those notes and those fragrances and you like the concept of Iris in a fragrance, you're gonna love this perfume, okay? I'll tell you that. Who not gonna love it? Who are the people not gonna love it? People who think feminine perfumes are not for men. If this is not rugged, this is not masculine, this is not powerhouse. People will hate this perfume because this is for females. But I think men can rock this as much as women. As a matter of fact, I like this on me. I said it yesterday. I think I like it on me more than women like it on themselves. See, that is the love. So that's the story basically. So uh, the perfume, I ordered it um, from USB page in Bangladesh and they're offering a good price under $100. And this perfume is like $120, $100. It's like $110, that price tag. 100 ml i think it's on the higher side you really have to love these perfumes to buy them and the add concentration means this fragrance is not going to be beast mode only by the fireplace is the longest lasting on me other ones kind of like you know so this one performance so far wearing i caught it four and a half hours okay longevity in summer conditions in bangladesh okay take note do not think like it's going to be like universal everywhere uh, i heard people get seven hours eight hours from this in cooler conditions so this is a winter uh, slash fall perfume and marketed for women but i think it easily can be unisex so the fragrances that comes to your mind the first thing i was scared of is like is this gonna beat my durum intense i was scared uh, no this is initially when you spray it you get this the most realistic lipsticky smell and there are many other fragrances if you search fragrant ticket they have like a lipsticky sort of a theme perfume but this i think is the most uh, one of the best people praise it a lot um so the perfume uh, like how many sprays I would go with it? I think I would go like four to five sprays. It will last you uh, about uh, six hours to seven hours, okay? Those sprays. And the sprayer is good. I really like it. It's pretty cute, okay? Um, so occasion for this. The occasion is, I think, is ideal for dating scenario. You know, if you're like going from a romantic setup, candlelight dinner, you're going to have some wax from the candle and some wax from the iris and the lipstick. So that's going to be like that. It will be mesmerizing on a woman, like woman. And men, if you can have the confidence, let's say you really want to wear it, it will show. When you wear it, it will radiate from you. But if you are not sure, you just put it on and you like have no clue. And put it on, you're walking like without any clue and you're like trying to be acting like macho and cigarette. People will laugh at you. <laughs> just joking. So one little story, I ordered it. It took me five days to get it. I think four to five days and it was the longest I waited for a perfume to arrive. It was killing me, guys. You know, yesterday, I mean, I did crazy things to get it. I just don't want to go in details, but I so wanted it badly. Finally, I had it yesterday. So I was talking about Dior Intense Comparison. You get that lipsticky iris, okay, uh, from the opening. But the fragrance will change slowly. Some people say they get the Scotch whiskey feel from it. I can also see the boozy side of it. But the main players on this perfume, apart from the beautiful juice here, is that iris, uh, tonka, vanilla, and neroli up top. They got some neroli. And I think some other notes, like uh, what are the other notes I forgot? I mean, I do not remember all the notes, but basically you get the idea. It's a sweet, uh, powdery, mild powdery scent, not too powdery, not too thick, but it's a powdery scent, all right. It's very classy. It definitely is classy. It's a niche quality juice. So the comparison I'm gonna give this with is, if you, I also have Valentino Umo Intense, I forgot to bring it. But closest, if you love these two perfumes, you should get this. This is right in between those two. Guerlain Low Medial EDP that has the Cherry Tonka combo, very sweet Cherry Tonka combo, and then Fave Delicious by Dior Privé Line. If you love those two, okay? If you love those two, this is gonna come off as a champion. This is gonna be so good. Even I would say, if you like Shergi, you know, by Sir Shultans, they all have that waxy, irisy thing. So these are the fragrances. If you love those, you're gonna love that. And this one replaces for me, Fave Delicious. This is a big statement I'm telling you. If you wanted to get Fave Delicious, if you wanted to get Wild Cherry or Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, 
this is a fragrance you should get. This is going to be cheaper than those niche perfumes. You're going to get 100 ml and uh, Fave Delicious will cost you $300 plus. Okay, I cannot afford it. I reviewed it, cannot afford it. Only thing that one has uh, advantages over this is the performance. Fave Delicious lasts on me like 8-10 hours. Okay, this one gave me 4.5 hours in summer condition. Fair enough, I'm paying one third the price. So if, now final uh, verdicts, if your thing is you love that iris as much as I do, I'm mad about it, crazy about it, I love the lipsticky smell. And I find it fascinating because I used to go around malls, you know, I told you I bought gift from my sister and my mom, I gave them lipstick, I used to, like I got the smell, I know, like uh, makeup and all this, I know the smell of that purse. So for me, it fascinates me that application of iris, you know, like a lipstick and a perfume, it's very fascinating for me. So if you like that as much as I do, you should get this. This is the best, <laughs> if not the best, one of the best. This was a tie, okay? By the fireplace and lipstick on, for me are tie. Two of the best from this replica line, okay? But that's just me. So if your concern is you don't wanna smell feminine, if you don't wanna get like a fragrance that is sometimes moderate with the longevity and projection, and also you want to get something of a summer beast, you should avoid this. These are the people you shouldn't get it because this is not gonna offer you like, oh, I paid 120 bucks. I did not get like Durham Intense kind of performance. If your performance is your first category, do not get this. This is uh, gonna be good, but not be smooth. But the specialty is the smell and the blend. It just takes you in a different world. So good guys, it's so sweet. It's, it's, it's a dream come true, okay? So you can understand. So I wanna finish it on that note. Lipstick on, initial impression, I'm in love. Four to five hours, I got in weathers, warm weathers, one hour of decent projection, good enough for me love 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 lipstick on definitely try it out and if you want to give it to your if you want to use it like with your wife or girlfriend you can also do amazing thank you so much sebastian zara and also wet cell both of you i will watch some more reviews if you have available but this is a definitely unisex perfume if you love fave delicious by dior amazing take care guys have a good day and nice day ahead stay safe i'll see you soon bye bye